sort of morning routine when you're getting ready. For me, wash the face, brush the teeth, attempt to fix the hair. This morning, we are talking about how to change up your whole routine for fall. Fox 28's Lindsay Zablon is over at the Center PC. Lindsay, I'm guessing it's time to put out the sunblock and just get ready for the dark colors of the sky. You know, I thought the same thing, Alicia. I thought, oh, put away all my sunblock. Not necessarily the case. We definitely still need to worry about the sun that we will have peeking through, hopefully, during those winter months. And here to help us out with kind of getting back into our fall skincare routine is Kim Whitaker, who's a licensed esthetician here at Center PC. How are you doing this morning? Hey, good, Lindsay. How are you? Good. Okay, good. so when we're talking fall skincare, what are some of the big things that we need to worry about? Well, we want to kind of see how our skin is adapting to the new weather that we're experiencing. So we want to maybe change our cleanser mm -hmm. from possibly a gel cleanser mm -hmm. to a creamy cleanser because our skin may need some more moisture. And so we can do that by changing some and tweaking some little things in our skincare regimen. Okay. Um, we also may want to choose a serum. A treatment serum, okay, an antioxidant which is going to protect our skin from the environment, uh, or possibly something that is going to lighten or brighten our skin to help start repairing some of that sun damage that we accumulated throughout the summer. I was asking you earlier, serum versus lotion. Mm -hmm. I just kind of discovered serums recently. What's the difference? Well, a serum is going to be lighter, almost fluid-like, okay. where a lotion is going to be heavier and a cream even heavier than that. So if you tend to be oilier, even throughout the fall and winter months, you can stick with using a lighter fluid kind of lotion or um, serum. serum. Works well. mm -hmm. Okay, entirely. absolutely. And then, you know, a cream. Uh, you want to use a heavier cream, something more emollient, something that is going to give you that extra moisture that you're going to need, you know, experience some of these dry, patchy, you know, problems on the skin. And then also you don't want to abandon your sunblock. You still want to wear an additional sunblock. Okay. 30 we recommend. Okay. Absolutely. On top of your moisturizer. Oh, so because my moisturizer, I think, is SPF 20. Okay. So add more onto that or you well, think it's okay? you know, it depends. If you're going to be outside quite a bit, um, you know, that may be adequate. We'll usually recommend a 30, though. But no the big what. thing is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Absolutely. If you're dry, experiencing that dryness from the, the dry air and, you know, this weather change, absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much, okay. Kim. I know, uh, Ken, I don't know if you can relate, but Ken, uh, Alicia, I know you can relate. I get dry skin. My hair goes all dry. It's a, it's a mess. When the I come. look like <laughs> a crunchy mess is what happens. My hair just goes. <laughs> the ladies, you know what I'm talking about. You become a crunchy mess. 821 now. Let's go ahead and take a look.